Hey everyone, this is Mitch. I wanted to uh, take a little bit of time today to talk about the new Opportunity Close uh, form we have available to us. So this allows us to actually make changes to the Opportunity Close form that has previously been an internal system dialog, so we couldn't actually change it. So it starts in our system settings under the Sales tab. We have a new option toward the bottom called Customize Close Opportunity Form. It has to be turned off the Yes, of course. Uh, mine defaulted to being on, by the way. So turn that on, and then if I go and look at my default solution here, I actually see I have an opportunity close entity. And within that is a fairly important setting, which is the standard allow quick create dialog. So what that's going to do is if it's turned on like it is, it will show the quick create dialog on the right hand side of the screen. Otherwise, it just shows a normal dialog that would pop up with the, the standard record in it. So it's really kind of up to you which, which one you uh, choose. The thing about this is, Anytime you're looking at the closed opportunity activity and you open it up, you're going to see the um, the normal form or the information main form. So if you make changes to uh, the uh, quick create form, you need to make the same changes to the information form as well so they're in sync. Doesn't matter which one you use, you're probably going to end up using uh, both of them. Okay. So let's talk about a couple special fields here. So I'm going to go here. And there are two fields that you don't actually uh, normally think about. And one is the status and the other is the status reason. The status is whether it's active or inactive. For the opportunity, it's special because there's actually three different flavors of that. There's open, which is active, and then there is won and lost, which are both inactive. Then we have a status reason, which is a substatus of either on or active or inactive, and that we can totally connect or configure. Now, we don't do it on the opportunity close record. We actually do it on the opportunity itself. So I'll go to the opportunity and look at the fields and scroll down to the bottom where the uh, S's are. So if I look at my state code, not going to see much. It's just, yeah, it's a state code. Can't change anything. But if I look at my status code, which is my status reason, I can see the status, which is open, won, or lost. And as you can see, if I have open and I close it, I can choose a substatus of in progress or on hold. Won is just won. And lost is either canceled or else sold. As you can see from the... Um, uh, buttons over here, we can actually modify these. I do not ever, ever recommend changing any of the values of any system status whatsoever. In fact, on this one, you'll notice you can't change that value. That was a possibility at one time and it caused all kinds of havoc. So just keep that in mind. But you can add a new value here. I've done it all, uh, a lot with customers uh, uh, for both the lost and the won. Maybe they want to, want to know how they won or how they lost. So it's just a customization. You just add that. You put in your label. It gives you a value by itself. That's based on your uh, uh, customization prefix, of course. And there you have it. Now, let's see how this looks. So I'm going to go open my sales hub. and go and select an opportunity to close. So I'm going to select the opportunity. I'm going to close it as one. And it pops up the quick create form on the right hand side, just like it would uh, any other time. Okay. So I haven't made any changes, but if I want to, so I'm closing it as one because that's the button I pushed and it pre-filtered -pre it. Now here's one thing that has driven me crazy since I've worked with Dynamics. Why is competitor locked where you cannot edit it? I don't know. Um, I actually had a customer at one time that we recreated this entire dialogue system and all the back end stuff that goes with it just because they needed to track the competitor that they won against. It was a data point that they use for metrics. Okay. So now that we have the ability to customize the form, we can now take care of that. Problem is you can't take care of it like you would normally. So if I had the form open, this is it. If I open up the competitor, and sorry, I gotta change my environment back. Open up the competitor, and you will notice that field as read only is not checked and it's not locked. So that means that there is something going on behind the scenes that we're out of control of that's making that change. 
but I have a workaround. <clears throat> Here is a piece of JavaScript that will fix this. So again, we have two fields that uh, we can work with, state code and status code. Here are my opportunity states, which are open, which is zero, one is one, lost is two. I look, uh, I pull in the value of the state code. If it's equal to, not equal to lost, then what I'm doing is I'm setting the, the, the competitor ID's uh, read-only status to false, which means it is not disabled. So the opposite of disabled, okay? So when I activate that, and I do that, I've already added the code to the form. Just need to edit thing, enable the method. Save and publish. And then now if I go back to my sales hub and open opportunity and close it as one. Now I have the availability of choosing or a competitor or creating a new one if I don't have any. The, the system doesn't have any competitors, which is why it's blank. So that is a workaround for uh, uh, being able to edit the competitor on the um, uh, closest one. Closest loss will have no effect. That's always been editable, so it's not a big a win there. A couple other things that you can do um, with the JavaScript here um, on this field here, which is the status code, I removed the canceled option. So this will be on close as lost. So if I go back here and close it as lost, well that didn't work. Not sure why that didn't work. Uh, probably because the numbers changed a bit. But anyway, uh, what you can do is you can actually remove options or change options. Um, I, I did this, um, I had some other code where I was actually taking um, uh, the values that were being dis uh, displayed to the user and I was actually removing specific values based on um, security roles so that only certain people could actually change it, uh, change the status to a specific uh, 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 selection because we, we didn't we only pretty much pictures like this we only wanted managers to cancel an opportunity uh, without uh, you know without prior knowledge okay so so basically the, the managers could actually go in and cancel an opportunity for any time they wanted uh, anybody else they had to a ask a manager or tell them okay look this 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 is gonna this is not gonna work it's gonna, you know so might as well go ahead and cancel it and then they would allow that and what that did is that kept their metrics clean kept people from just randomly closing things when they got tired of working on them so that's about it so again opportunity state code is something we can use status code we can uh, remove options etc oh I don't know why that didn't work because I had this I can't this uh, taken out right here uh, that's why that <laughs> that didn't work because I don't have a canceled value um, but anyway so yeah so you can actually remove options from those things and um, that's it so again a really good useful tool for us um, to uh, just add value like I said I actually uh, over time we've pr probably spent several thousand dollars customizing that dialogue and adding other back-end processes to it and if we had had this set up we would never have done any of that so anyway all good stuff so thank you product team Give me coffee, guys.